Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a disassemble on an MSI laptop, 17 inch, a gaming laptop. This model here is MS17C6. What I'll do is I'll try to um, remove everything in this video and show you where the components are. Hopefully this is something that helps in your repair or guide, guide you to upgrade or to replace any of your broken parts. Okay, so let's get started. You just need a Phillips screwdriver. And try to remove the back plate first. The screws are all the same at the back plate that holds the cover. So there's one here hidden behind the factory seal label. You need to break it in order to open up. Okay, but of course you want to make sure that your laptop is no longer under manufacturer warranty. So if you break the seal, you may void the owner of the warranty coming from MSI. All right, so once you have all the screws removed what you want to do is you want to separate the back cover and the separation comes right between this plastic and the red line I'm just using a plastic prying tool or stick it in Okay, you want to work your way around it slowly. Make sure that everything seems to be um, loose before you try to put more pressure to separate them. All right, so I want, to, I want you to pay attention to here. So one-sided, depending on how you look at it, where you have the audio jack and the microphone so I usually like to end up this being the last portion to move it so meaning that I will lift the, the corner here and then move towards slowly towards the, uh, the microphone the reason because sometimes it's still tight on the microphone side and if you leave the plastic on the microphone you may actually damage the uh, the connector here or the USB okay so just my preference but either way the goal is to remove the back plate all right once the back plate is removed let me give you a walkthrough um, this is where the battery is being hole by one screw so if you want to remove the battery or replace it go ahead and do so okay And of course, before you do anything else, make sure you disconnect the battery. All right, here as you can see, there are two um, fan, and this is the heat sink. All right, so this is the one terabyte hard drive, your Wi-Fi card. This is your RAM. If you want to increase the RAM, you have the second slots to do so. And this is going to be a DDR4 RAM. And as you can see, it says PC4, 8GB. 
I think you can increase up to 16 by putting 8 and 8 or maybe you can go up to 32 by putting 16 and 16 all right so at the bottom here is your speaker so first thing I like to do is to maybe remove the speaker it looks a lot simpler by just lifting this thing up and disconnect this speaker cable okay so the next step that I want to do right now would be removing the uh, hard drive here There are two screws that hold onto the bracket. Once it's removed, you can slide the hard drive out. I believe this hard drive here is a secondary drive. I do not think this is an OS drive, but we will see what is underneath the motherboard after we get to that section. So here you can see that the Wi-Fi is, is labeled with the red thread on it is actually for white without is for black so what I usually do is if I can get a marker So I like to label them, at least I'll know where goes where after. So I'm just going to color this blue, okay, and then just put it here. So I know that this cable goes to this direction and the other one stay on the black. Alright, so let's disconnect this. This is your Wi-Fi. Or network interface card NIC Wi-Fi card all right so that is disconnected um, the touchpad is here okay so we can disconnect the cable let's see what is next we should do uh, maybe we should remove the heatsink and the fan it looks like the heatsink and the fan they're attached together it's not like a separate maybe I'm wrong but it looks like we need to re remove entirely yeah let's just do that okay so For those of you who wants to, uh, you know, apply a new thermal paste, maybe the computer is getting too hot, uh, or maybe it shuts down on its own. So this is how you're gonna. This is how you will. Let me see. Oh, the screws are not the same. So the one that says 11 is longer. Let me see what is number eight. Okay, 11 and 8, they are a bit longer. 9 and 10, they are shorter. Okay, so the screws are not quite the same size. So make sure that you have them in the right position when you put it back after. Yeah, so for those of you, you know, the laptop gets really hot and shuts off by itself. Or maybe maybe the fans are not spinning. Uh, you might want to apply the thermal paste, and I try to show it to you this process here. A 
looks like I need to disconnect the fan in order to remove the entire heat sink. Okay, and this is the CPU fan cable. Go ahead and disconnect that. Come back here and do on the other side. And this is your DC jack for your adapter, the power adapter that goes to the motherboard. Um, if you can see, there's your DC jack right here. Okay. So there's only two screws that holds onto this fan. And it looks like we need to disconnect this CPU fan cable. Okay, let's see. It will just come right out the entire heat sink. Alright, so these are the thermal pads. Uh, you can buy them, replace them, cut them into the same size. Alright, the way it goes, it it kinds of uh, covers up the, uh, the, the chipset on all this, okay? So some of them came out and then it stick onto the other side of the motherboard. And probably this is your CPU and this is your graphics card. And if my thermal paste is still moist, um, but if yours is all dried up, you can get the alcohol wipes and just wipe it down, clean it, and apply a new thermal paste. And you can wipe this as well. Okay. All right, so let's move on. So we have the Wi-Fi being here. Let's go ahead and disconnect the um, LCD screen cable. Okay. The next what I'm doing is I'll be uh, removing the motherboard. So, so one screw here, two, three, four, and five. So all the screw that says M2L3, apprentice three. M2L3 M2L3 So this is where you will put the screws back on after Okay, go ahead and separate this cable as well So, do not pull all the way because, as you can see, I have the uh, the keyboard cable that is still attached here. Okay, as well as something's being attached on the other side here. So let me go ahead and fix this first. So we have to take out this little thing. the three screws that's holding it I believe that should be the power button all right so there goes the power button and let's go ahead and disconnect this cable Oh, it actually goes the other way around it. 
there's another plastic that holds onto it you know what do not disconnect the cable just put it back we are going together in one piece together like this okay so let, let's flip it towards yourself and at this point you can go ahead and disconnect the keyboard so this is not a, a clipper that flips this is a clipper that actually slide you need to use your two fingernails and slide it at the same time okay so you do not want to flip anything out it's just a slide alright so here comes your entire motherboard okay let me put this motherboard on the side so finally if you want to replace um, your entire screen with the back plate you can remove this hinge okay these two hinges the three screws on one side and the other side remove it that's how you will um, remove the entire LCD okay as you can see the mod uh, the keyboard here is not a screw on so you would have to unfortunately you would have to replace the entire uh, MSI keyboard base as I can see that the keyboard is uh, kind of fixed onto uh, onto the plastic here and also as you can see the the touchpad as well is somewhat fixed onto it I don't think you can separate them they all come in one piece together so if you have any liquid spill on the keyboard or whatnot um, unfortunately you would have to replace the whole thing okay so to do that you want to uh, remove the 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 adapter charger okay and also the hinge on both sides oh yeah come back to the uh, the motherboard and if there was a solid state drive that, that holds the OS I do not see any SSD here uh, doesn't seem like there's any solid state drive on the motherboard this is the back of it and this is the the top all right so I think that if you want to install an M.2 drive uh, you would have to do it here let me bring it back up here closely for you you would have to do it here so it says PCIe um, SSD 3.0 okay so your M.2 drive would be installed right here and as for my case my one terabyte is actually the OS drive and if you do not want to install an M.2 and you just want to use a regular uh, two and a half inch solid state drive you would actually replace the regular hard drive with the solid state drive okay so um, this is the breakdown uh, I hope that you learned something from the video if you have any question just comment below uh, ask me any questions I will try to reply you and until next time please take care I'll see you soon